Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is the first time watching one of my videos. Hi my name is James and today I'm joined again by the beautiful and fabulous Root Wash from West Haven Interior Design. Thank you. Today we're going to be going through our top picks for 2019. For 2019. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> for it's out of my mouth. Um, these are just kind of in Instagram profiles, magazines, pieces that we've seen that we like. Just different kind of like furnishings and interior design that we are obsessed with at the minute. And the reason I'm doing it for 2019 is because, you know, it will probably change again. <laughs> Our it favorite. changes all the time, but it's also what's now, what's, mm. what you can do within your budget that doesn't have to cost an absolute fortune, but change the whole look very quickly. It's crazy though, because there is so many affordable shops out there that offer the same beautiful stuff as a designer would, mm. but for less supply. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and some of it's good quality as well. Uh, know? it mostly is, yeah. but you don't even have to go buying stuff. Even just changing your space, as we discussed mm -hmm. earlier, with panelling wallpaper. Mm -hmm. Yes. My favourite thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> wallpaper, you can't go wrong. Well, you can't go wrong with wallpaper. You so can't yeah. go wrong with wallpaper. But not with wallpaper no. and panelling. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're just like an iconic duo that... It works all the time. Oh, it does. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. I'm dying to do... A, anyway, I'll show you. That's another, that's another video. <laughs> coming soon but say so as i said we're going to be talking about our favorite things in interior design at the minute and you know because it's january or yeah january i just thought we'd kick it off with our favorite things for it this year so i want to start off with instagram profiles i know i'm obsessed with finding new designers to follow and ways to find new inspiration and because it just gets me excited so i have like a list of like my favorite instagram profiles i follow and if you're not following you definitely should because their interiors are just like pure and utter like gold. I'm gonna start off with I have Architectural Digest, obviously. Like, I mean, if you're not following them, do you do interior design? <laughs> like, they're like the creme of the creme, like celebrity homes. Stuff that isn't like just trending. It's like Georgian, Victorian style beautiful. renovations, like beautiful stuff. It's architecture as well. So it's just, it fuels it. It just, it's just, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Like, yeah. so. You can subscribe to their uh, magazines as well, but that's like... A lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> so it's just easy to follow them on Instagram and you get the same inspiration just from pictures and it's yeah. amazing. Then also Lux Magazine. Mm -hmm. I don't know, are you following them? Probably, if you told me to. Yeah, no, like, I'll show you them. I am um, the last one to hit social media. <laughs> James is gonna help me out with that. That's something I need to improve on. It's called Lux Interiors and Design. It's a magazine company, they're on Instagram. And they just post some really beautiful spaces and you should definitely give them a follow. And then there's like more like a tier design mag, Benjamin and Moore and Farrow and Ball. Like oh, following Farrow paints Ball. is really good because they kind of post it their paint in spaces, which is really cool because it gets you a better idea of what it will look like in your space. Do you like Farrow and Ball? I do. There are there are other companies out I like Farrow. Hmm, okay. I have to be careful yeah. what I say here. Yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think people, it's expensive. It's really mm. expensive. I've used it in the past and I painted over it. Oh, really? Yeah, because the paint just didn't look great. Mm. So, whether I don't know whether it's the walls in my house or whatever, but there's another new paint I came across the other day. Fabulous. Um, I don't have the name of it with me. I'll find it and I'll send it to you because I, I have to go and talk to the guy again. I'll overlap on the screen. Somewhere. Yeah, uh, I'll get to the name of it. I'll be in Castle Bar tomorrow and it's in Irwin's Interiors. This is better than that. Oh, well, I'll have to keep an eye out for that paint. Yeah. But also, Benjamin Moore is a really good paint yeah. as well. So it's like kind of has a grey tone, isn't it? The Baron Ball paint. It has like kind of. I just think it's all very muted shades yeah. and it's all very trendy. And mm. I'm, I am I just hate that word trendy. I hate, yeah, yeah. And I'm sort of kind of going, oh, it's Baron Ball, great. Mm. Where. I'm sorry, but Colour Trend have a fabulous collection of colours. The finish is really, really good. As we discovered, we yeah. went paint shopping this morning. Great fun. Never and stops. Never stops. But, and how long did we spend talking about it before <laughs> we went paint shopping? But I just, to coin an expression you've heard a million times before, it does exactly what it says on the tin mm -hmm. and so much more. Yeah. I think it's hard wearing. The colour finish is really, really good. And I like that kind of almost um, chalky effect in some mm -hmm. of the colours. It does yeah. look that way. I'm sorry, it's just not as pricey as Farron Ball. Yeah, Farron Ball is definitely on the higher end 
spectrum when it comes to luxury mm -hmm. paints. Yeah. I still like it. I think it still is like. It's, they have a lovely colour yeah, palette. I have the whole palette, yeah. file there. It's lovely. Beautiful. But like, if you have the money to spend on paint when you could put that money towards like furnishing. Yeah. Yeah. The wall colour is lovely when you paint the room and it's all about the wall colour. But when you add everything in, the wall colour has to go into the background, mm -hmm. but it still has to complement everything that goes in front of it. Yeah, yeah, it's like almost it's layering. background for Because you're going to put a painting on the wall, mm -hmm. then you're going to put a mirror and a picture. So the wall colour is literally the picture frame that's holding the rest of your canvas in place. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. So then I also discovered this pottery brand over in London. It's called Scandi House. It's H-U-S. So I don't really know how you train that. But I think it's supposed to be Scandi House and then underscore London. They do really, really beautiful things. They do like sink basins, all handmade, and it's really beautiful. Um, she's a lovely lady. She's really good for if you like kind of put them on your story or post about them on Instagram. The lady who owns it is really good at like replying to you and appreciate. Yeah, appreciate. She's really appreciative of everything. Like, Send me yeah. that. I love um, Scandi House. They do some really nice like plates and pottery plates, and oh. just go and check them out. They're, Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Like I yeah. love that handmade. And handmade anyway, stuff yeah. is gorgeous, but like, just not practical. It's, no, it's it's, it's pricey. <laughs> it's, it's, luxury. Pricey. Yeah. it's luxury. It's yeah. luxury. Yeah. Then also home sense. <gasps> really turn me on home sense. Oh my god. We gosh. have to go. This is going to be an yeah. outing that we will vlog about. Oh definitely. We're gonna definitely. have so much fun. Yeah. We probably won't be able to afford to buy anything, but we're gonna have great <laughs> fun showing you what we can bring to a space. Yes. That yeah. pink trunk, I'm obsessed. Yeah, oh my god, no, do, definitely go look them out. They're a Home branch sense. from TK Maxx. They're a derivative of TK Maxx. They're owned by TK Maxx, yeah. I think, but they're, uh, they're connected. And they're in Dublin, in Blanchardstown, I believe. We have yet to get there yeah. via Ikea. We will. Blanchardstown and Ikea will not know what to hit them when we get up there. Oh my god. Um, but there, it's like, just picture the home section of TK Maxx, but like, put it on steroids. <laughs> That's what how home sense is gonna be. So also, we're gonna have to have a lot of coffee before we get there. <laughs> and roller really skates. Off the balls. Like, um, but also Gluckstein Home is really cool as well. But Gluckstein Home, it's more kind of, it's not very out of the box. It's more kind of that luxurious, traditional, classy vibe I get from his page really talented like the colours and everything he puts together are just so beautiful together it's still nothing like to go crazy over but i do really like it and it's nice just to get a well-rounded look at different people's styles so what's in home is one that i recommend to follow i love el decor i i, yeah. I just i always yeah. go back to el decor and go <sighs> you know if i lived in a lovely climate where even my front door could look as beautiful yeah. as their doorways mm -hmm. I always imagine myself living in a villa with a beautiful wisteria growing across my front door. Oh, and I know, yeah, yeah. you see? Yeah. <laughs> so I should be really living in Tuscany, but Basically. I'm not. But no, it's, it's, there's, there's so many. I mean, but it's not even about following those. It's about just getting your inspiration from the magazines, walking in nature. I always, we always talk yeah. about that. I just, I love going for a walk, especially where we live. And I mean, you go home and think, God, I could have put that there, and everything just changes with nature. It's always moving, it's always yeah, changing. changing. So, yeah. with life, and absolutely, yeah. times of the day, ah, especially in the west of Ireland. Yeah, <laughs> it's never the four same. Four seasons in one day, never the same. But they're the Instagram pages that I would recommend you follow just for inspiration and just it's just nice to look at nice, fresh ideas, yeah, you know, it's nice to see. Then, magazines I'd recommend you follow or subscribe to or whatever because magazines. They do run up if you get a few of them every month, oh. so you don't need to get all of them. I mean, you can pick them up in the shop, well, if you're getting like, you know, whatever. Yeah, you know, just a nice Just have. one every so often. Yeah. El Decor is my favourite You don't need all. to get them every month. Um, that's my top one, actually, El Decor. Oh, stop. Yeah. Um, it's just so, like... Get the international one as well, you know, the American version. Mm -hmm. It's just not, like, the same thing. It's always different like there's something for everyone's style in there yeah. and like it's not they kind of post put some like fashion prints in them as well yeah. which is really cool so it just kind of merges the two worlds together which is really exciting also Vogue Living I really love Vogue Living I don't have their magazine recently but I do follow them on Instagram and it's just amazing like it's yeah. just so exciting to see Architectural Digest obviously I get them I got them every month last year 
and I was not disappointed every time they came. Really? Yeah, it was I've never gotten them. I just find it so expensive. Yeah, one thing though, I will note, there's a lot of ads in it, That's like for Cartier paying. and Harry Winston and. You're them, paying for all the ads. Yeah. That's why I don't buy them. I used to be spending a fortune, mm. like. I won't tell you how much on camera, but it was very useful when I was hand making a mood yeah. board. No, but you because can't you're using be the magazine you and you're putting that. it on a card and you're bringing it to your client. Mm -hmm. Where now you can do it online and just do a mood board from Pinterest and, yeah, and Photoshop. And Photoshop, yeah. if I knew how to do that. Yeah. But you know, so but that's when it's useful. But I don't buy the magazines anymore. And who has the storage for magazines? No one. No yeah, one. Like the architecture digest ones are literally. I had Vogue for yeah. years, going back to the the early 80s mm -hmm. and late late 70s was the the oldest one I had was 1979 oh really and I got rid of them oh in the 2000s okay so they were stacked so you still have the ones from the late oh 90s. I got rid of them all <gasps> I know They'd be sorry so cool shoot me oh my god I couldn't but James there was no room mm -hmm. you'd be like you need a room just for a magazine. You, you'd have to have a library built just for magazines and then you're never going to go back to the mall. You think you are. Yeah. You know, like, you're I not. Mean, you might have one every now and again. And yeah, then. yeah, but that's great. But it's like a recipe book. Now you can get everything that's online. That's true. That is true. But yeah. also, like, I feel like it's cool. So, like, you know, like, trends kind of circle around. Yeah. Like, go back and kind yeah. of go, oh, my God. Yeah. Look what we're doing now to then. And it's, yeah. It's really cool. I yeah. think look it from that sense, but also... It's a lot of paper as well. It's an awful lot and I want to save the planet. Same. Eco-friendly, all recycling, yeah. reuse, recycle, so for that upcycle. Point, yeah, yeah. And that's what I was doing a lot yeah. last year as we talked about upcycling. Mm. That's very important in interior design. Yeah. To yeah. be able to use everything. Waste nothing, you know? And I think that's really important. I think it's really cool because it kind of gives an eclectic vibe to a space as well. And then also there's a magazine, this Irish magazine, decor, kitchens and interiors. Mm -hmm really cool my friend's mum was in one before like a couple of months ago last year and they just have so much amazing kitchens in it like it's crazy and it's all in ireland which is really cool to see because normally in these magazines you used to see the european yeah, side like these people have mansions and stuff but it's not it's irish design irish made and it's just really cool to see and exciting from your own country then shops that i'm obsessing over is restoration hardware where's that oh Bruce, it's so beautiful. So expensive, but so beautiful. It's, Where is it? Um, you have like a shop in London, I think. And then you have one in New York, LA, Hollywood. So you haven't been to it? No, I've oh. been online. Stop, send yeah. me the link to that. I, it's so, like they, it's, oh, it's just so, I'm like, so beautiful. Really? Yeah, it's, I can't even put it into words. It's like all, Stuff like handmade, it's really expensive, so like really expensive. I was showing Ruth a lamp and um, Oh like, my god, is that the yeah. oh my god. It's like a hand And you're buying me that lamp yeah. for this dining <laughs> table. It's going to be beautiful. It's so beautiful, like I'll get to that lamp in a minute though. But restoration how do amazing tables, couches, lighting. There's a couch that to do now, it's so trendy, like it's literally fifteen grand, I think it is, but it's this white and it's like this, you create like don't shape you want, um, but it's all filled with like feathers and it literally feels, it's called the cloud and it feels like you're floating when you sit into it. So, and you can customise the colours and everything. You'll learn, as well. you'll learn. Yeah. When you get rich and famous, yeah. you can buy that couch. Yeah, but it might be like, you know, cool then, but. Um, you'll make it cool. Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course. But then also, this isn't like H&M home. I recently discovered them in the past like month or so. I never knew they were doing a home range until like a month ago and really nice. Not a massive selection, but what they do have is it's tasty. Yeah. Yeah. It's Zara home is lovely as well. Is it? I bought a lovely cowhide rug. Do you remember the one yeah. that I showed you in Zara home? I actually bought it in Faro in Portugal. Oh, nice. Beautiful yeah. shop there. It's actually a small shop. Gosh, the th the stuff they have. Yeah. And it's lovely to go to these shops when you're away, if you're on a holiday, mm. have a look because They'll ship. It generally isn't terribly expensive, but also they buy for the country that they're in. So you might get something, you've got a, a theme in mind, but you can't get it here because the colors aren't right. You'll get it there. Yeah. Like it was really, everything was geared towards a sunnier climate mm -hmm. and the bed linen was fabulous with yeah. the blues and the bright greens. Yeah. And I was just in heaven, in heaven. Yeah. and I could only fit this cowhide. I bought nothing else. 
but I, I threw clothes away to bring this cow hide home really? in my suitcase. <laughs> Fact. Um, but yes, there's another thing like, you know, these high street shops, some of them overpriced. There are items like River Island. Oh my God, like literally. Oh, just ridiculous. Send to you for a cushion that's mass produced and it's... You can buy a TK yeah. Maxx for 20. Yeah, like yeah. if it was handmade, like craft shop cushion, you know, you wouldn't feel that bad paying that mm. much for a cushion. But the fact that it's River Island and it's mass produced all mm. over the world. Like, these are hand, this is a hand painted cushion. Where'd you get that? I bought that in Clifton. Clifton, yeah. And it's from a company called, oh, Voyage Maison. Voyage Maison, I'll put that over the screen. But yeah, it just shows, like, you know, that I don't shop in River Island for furniture because I don't want to go spending 70 euro on a throw, throw blanket when I can get the same one in. The linen mill yeah. in Westport. Which is all hand woven. Beautiful stuff, and mm -hmm. they make their own fillers and pillows and duvets and all that. So it's it's a great place as well that we went to this morning. Yeah, you know, yeah. for your fillers oh, for beautiful. cushions. Yeah, yeah, beautiful stuff. Yeah. Then also Home Sense Tiki Max. On the list. Yeah. Again, to be followed by another video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely. But even like if you can't get the Home Sense Tiki Max, their furniture in Tiki Max is beautiful. Like not all the time. It's mm. very furniture, like I, I don't love their furniture so much as their cushions and throws because their oh, cushions are really yeah, good. Yeah. Like, that's actually that cushion I showed you earlier mm. is a TK Maxx cushion, but it's a feather proper, yeah, good filler. And you know they they their throws can be quite nice. We have to do the home sense thing and yeah. do the video for them, which is really exciting. Then also Jonathan Adler. This okay oh. now we're getting into the high end. High end. Okay, so Jonathan Adler is a interior designer, potter furniture designer like god as far as we're concerned so beautiful like but so different like a lot yeah. of people like other shops kind of emulate him. emulate his design so like i'll put like a few of them across the screen here i done him for a project in college last year i just love his stuff so i think it's so cool and beautiful. like different and exciting like i mean obviously his like interior design style is a bit like you know wild it's a bit Bold, shall I say, bold. Like so, I mean, even just hints of his pieces in the space would look really nice. And then also, Amara. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, like Beautiful. also on the higher end spectrum of interior design. But like, you can get a throw in there for you know a reasonable price. It's not like everything expensive, but like. But I, it's still good for inspiration yeah, as well. Even just kind of take that an and idea. go down to a high street shop and you know. Again, emulate that in, in somebody yeah. else's. You'll get an yeah. idea of what it is you're looking for, you know. But yeah, so they're the shops that I'm assessing over. And do you have any shops? Uh, every one of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love going, you know, when you're in Dublin, just even walking down the, the, high, the main street and looking in the shop windows, even jewellery shops. The displays, I'm big onto the display and the yeah. merchandising, the way stuff is merchandised. So it's always nice to see the way the bigger stores, Brown Thomas and any of these oh, shops, stuff. merchandise yeah. because you can incorporate that. They'll use an armchair, or they'll, it's it's all part of it. It's we're like magpies, yeah. basically. Engine <laughs> design related, I'm going to think straight towards that. Yeah, that's our top picks for 2019. You know, this hopefully this inspired you, made you get you know a bit of inspiration for your spaces if you're remodeling. Or if not, just call us. Yeah, and we'll, we'll do help it for you. you. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this is the first episode of our monthly design talk. This only started out as one, by the way. <laughs> so now I'm enlisted for twelve, for so 12. there's eleven more. There's eleven more. To How go. did that happen? <laughs> well, you know, it just it just happens. It know? just evolves. Yeah. But I really hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and also hit that little notification bell. Just so you're notified for the next one that comes up next month. We'll be talking paint, colour schemes, mood boards, furniture, interior design. We'll be talking about everything. So at the end of this year, you'll be well sorted to design your own space. Add a comment if you have any questions for the next video for either of us. Put up your question and we'll try and answer it on, on our next video as well. Love Wouldn't that be a good idea? That'd be a really good idea, yeah. Let's get interactive, people. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. So I'll see you guys in... We, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.